Next to me is the new Aston Martin Vanquish S, and it's one of the most beautiful cars in the world. While it's electronically and mechanically inferior to the all new platform, the DB11, it's classier and sleeker than the 11 could ever dream of being. It's not flashy like a Lamborghini or a Ferrari, it's elegant. It's an Aston Martin. Special thanks to Ivan from Galp and Aston Martin for making this video possible. I've got a link in the description below to find out more about this car. The front fascia of the Aston Martin Vanquish is simply jaw-dropping. Carbon fiber, sweeping lines, a vented hood all make up such a beautiful visage. And the headlights, they're both pretty and aggressive at the same time, a theme that continues throughout the rest of the Aston Martin's exterior and interior. Over here, we have the Vanquish's signature side vent, as well as doors that open up at the exact angle of the Aston Martin logo. No, they don't open normally at zero degrees. Check that out. We've also got five different wheel options. These look fantastic, the five spokes, and more color offerings than you can wrap your head around. back and the looks get even more scintillating. We've got a massive, aggressive carbon fiber rear diffuser, cool looking quad tailpipes, and a beautifully integrated rear spoiler. But the best part about the Vanquish is its exhaust note. Just listen to this. <laughs> Along with its stunning looks comes a potent engine with a mesmerizing soundtrack. Given this is the Vanquish S, Aston Martin's last hurrah with this platform, power is up 12 horsepower. The suspension is stiffened by 10%. We've got a restyled exterior and faster shifts, bringing the total horsepower output to 580 horsepower and 465 pound-feet of torque. Yes, the DB11 makes more power with its twin-turbo V12 setup, but it doesn't create the noises and the sensation and emotional experience that the Vanquish does. And hey, zero to 60 in 3.5 seconds, I'd say that's fast enough. <laughs> The interior of the Vanquish is absolutely spectacular. The quality of the craftsmanship is top notch. There are over 1 million stitches in the interior of a Vanquish. 1 million. There's carbon fiber all over the center console. The buttons are laid out in a very elegant manner. We've got park, reverse, neutral drive laid out in a horizontal fashion with a little slot for the key to be inserted to start the car. That's right, there's no start stop button. You simply put your foot on the brake and push the key in a little bit harder than you'd think and it fires up that beautiful V12. Now, the interior of the Vanquish isn't without its downfalls. We still have technology from effectively the early and mid 2000s in this car, not so in the DB11. And the backup camera graphics are absolutely terrible. But you don't care because it's so nice to drive. It looks so beautiful inside and out and it sounds so spectacular that doesn't really matter. The specific Vanquish Volante, Aston Martin's term for convertible, is actually a Tom Brady edition. If you've noticed, there are a series of little accents and logos that let you know that this was designed in partnership with Aston Martin and Tom Brady. What does that mean? Well, simply put, he developed and designed 12 different specs for various Aston Martins, and 11 of them were for sale, one of which went to him. This being one of them. The exterior in this dark blue that looks like a spectacular deep black at night, but shines and glistens during the day. The blue calipers, the gray wheels, the nice deep blue interior flows together really nicely. And Tom Brady did a fantastic job at that. Thankfully, there's no added premium for the Tom Brady edition. And I imagine if you don't like the logos, you could take them off. 
The transmission is a ZF eight-speed unit that Aston Martin deems Touchtronic 3. The original Vanquish of this generation had a slow, clunky six-speed. They switched to an eight-speed ZF, and they further improved shift times and responsiveness in this latest Vanquish S. Shift times happen in as little as 130 milliseconds. We even have launch control if you want to accelerate as fast as possible, giving the zero to 60 time of 3.5 seconds. Pretty impressive for a GT Cruiser that's as comfortable as this and could be driven every single day. Now, a long time ago, I drove the DB11 and deemed it a very adequate and extremely elegant daily driver. Yes, it's not as practical as a four-door car, but if you don't need the space in the back, the trunk was big and the trunk is large in this as well. Well, if you have little kids, maybe you can fit them back there, but really those rear seats are good for nothing other than groceries. <laughs> the shift times faster, it makes it a heck of a lot more fun to drive when you click the paddle and it actually responds. It also gives the car a top speed of 201 miles per hour. Cruising around in the Vanquish, as long as you're in the low levels of RPMs, you really can't tell that this is effectively both a supercar and a super GT at the same time. Flick it into sport mode and click the suspension button, which firms up the dampers and things get a little more stiff, but it's still incredibly comfortable. It's isolated from the road. There's not all that much wind or tire noise or anything at all until you step on the gas and it produces one of the best V12 exhaust notes of all time. Just listen to this, guys. That sounds good. Oh my God. The seats are unbelievably comfortable. We've got tons of leg room, plenty of headroom, and this is the convertible. Simply hold down a button right by the window switches and the top drops with ease all electronically. It actually looks pretty cool as it's going down as well. And then you can experience the open top vibe with that beautiful V12. Typically, luxury and supercar manufacturers have a parent company that helps with research and development. Rolls-Royce has BMW, Lamborghini has Audi and Volkswagen Group. Aston Martin, well, they had Ford and then Tata Motors, but now, finally, they're partnering with Mercedes AMG. That means beautiful and reliable engines, big power, beautiful exhaust notes, but it also means upgraded electronics in the interior as well. Finally, we'll no longer have this strange rotating turnstile device with a three inch screen and pixelated graphics. But don't worry, they've already fixed that with the DBS Superleggera and the DB11. Pricing starts at just below $300,000, but as spec with the convertible, this one is $367,000. An awful lot of money and puts it in a price bracket similar to a bunch of other cars. We've got the Rolls-Royce Wraith, which focuses more on luxury than performance. And then we've got offerings from Ferrari, Lamborghini, and McLaren that put more of an emphasis on performance. Martin Vanquish offers an incredible blend of luxury and performance in one of the most beautiful packages ever created. The Aston Martin Vanquish is an icon from James Bond movies to just, well, look at the exterior of this thing. As you drive by, people are pointing, staring, smiling. It doesn't garner the same hate that something like a Ferrari or a Lamborghini would. It's simply beautiful, elegant, and classy. And like a Patek Philippe wristwatch, those in the know will appreciate this 
more than anyone else. Special thanks to Galpin Aston Martin for making this review possible. This car is available there now. And oh boy, is this thing spectacular.